Once we've inserted the new object, we're going to go and choose video from the options we've got. And we're going to name the sprite as well, or name the asset, and we can call it video clip. And then click on the desktop or on the stage, and you notice it puts it there for you. You can change the size and the width of this if you wish. And over here in the properties is where we're going to be putting the name of the file that we're going to import into our library project up here. So click on videos and then right click and import video. This will load up a new window for us to either import via clicking on a button or if you've got the folder open with the file you want to use, simply drag this into the drag and drop area and it will add it to the screen for you. So if we just drag that over and then drop it there, you'll notice it's now listed in the box below and tells you how big it is and what the format is. If you click OK, it'll upload the video to the area. And here we can change the name because the name looks a little bit awkward there. And we're going to change it to Taste Card MP4. So just simply delete out what you don't want and then leave it as it is. Now we're going to go over to our properties and we're going to change the H264 source and we're going to change that to represent the file. So we're going to type in testcard.mp4. It's important you put the mp4 extension at the end here. So now once you've done that, we're going to go and run the game and you'll be able to see that the actual video should appear in the background of our game. It should also stay running when we jump and we move left to right and when the camera follows us, the video should play in the background.